All right, checkers, what season is it? Football season. All right. <laughs> Dude, you got your marker? Yeah. Yeah. It's football season, so we thought we'd draw a football player, huh? Yep. And that's American football this time. Yeah. We did a soccer player already, and now mm. we're going to do a football player. And they're both kind of the same thing, but this is a, we're going to do an American football player, huh? Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Got your marker? Mm-hmm. Okay. First step, we're going to start with our page. Vertical. Yeah. Vertical. And we're going to do a big circle for his head and his helmet right in the middle, middle of the page, but towards the top. Okay, and we're gonna start, here we go. Do a big circle. And that's gonna be for his helmet and his head. Yeah. You're doing good, that's all right, that's all right. Keep going, we're practicing, huh? <laughs> so it's so gonna, no, no, it's, it's gonna be awesome. Like football shape. Football <laughs> his shape head's shape. gonna be a football shape. Or an egg shape. <laughs> I like it, dude. It'll be good. Okay, we're going to do his mask first. And we're going to do two, here we go, two uh, kind of contour lines that come across the front of his, the front of his mask. We're going to do one like that, and then another one right below it. Smile my lifers. <laughs> That's okay, dude. See, I'm also, I'm a little wavy too, huh? All right, and then we're gonna do two curved lines on the end, and that's gonna be for the end of his end of his mask. Then we're gonna do two more. Good. We're gonna do smiley face. <laughs> smiley face. Try and fit this. These. T we're gonna do two more in here, and maybe the way that you could do it is um, put it right on the bottom. So watch, watch this. Let's see how I'm gonna do another one right mm -hmm. here. This one, this line that I did right here could be the, maybe the bottom line of your circle, oh, yeah. the way that you drew it. And then I'm gonna do, so you go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna, yes, just like that. And then do a little curved line right here going into the bottom. Yes, and then I'm gonna do the curved line over here too. Okay, cool. Now, now we're gonna draw the part of his helmet and it's going to be an upside down kind of view or a uh, uh, kind of a box shape. So here we go. We're going to come up and then we're going to do a curve that comes across, goes all the way across, and then stop before you get too far. Man, my, my lines are really wavy too, dude. It doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> Mine's way wavy. We're practicing, huh? All right, you got it? Uh, okay, and then we're going to bring... <laughs> it's all right, dude. We're practicing. We're practicing. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this, that line back down. So we kind of got this box or look upside at, down. No, color. that is awesome. It looks really good. Okay, now let's do the stripe that's going to go down his the top of his helmet. Bring, bring your drawing over a little bit. There you go. And then... That way you stay in the camera. Okay, now we're gonna bring, we're gonna do two stripes right down the middle of his helmet. We do two little contour lines that go right down, right, kind of right down the middle, and they're curved so that they look like they're going over his helmet. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw his eyes. So we're gonna do two lines, kind of come down so he looks like he's angry. <laughs> well, he's going to be really angry. <laughs> and then we're going to do two U shapes right underneath his eyebrows. Yours will probably be on the side. <laughs> I like it. And then we're going to do two more, and these are going to be for his pupils, the dark part of his eye. Okay, and then we're going to do a little circle in there for the light that's reflecting off his pupils, and then color in the medium, the middle one. Good. That's awesome. He's really angry. <laughs> All right. Okay, now should we do his mouth? And we can do a little mouth in here. I'm going to oh. do it kind of like he's smiling a little. And then I'm going to put two lines on the end. Can you do that? It looks like he, those are the lips. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Good. Keep going. Awesome. Okay, 
And then they have a uh, football player who has a little chin strap right here for his for his uh, chin that keeps his helmet on. Kind of like a bike helmet. And that has that strap that goes underneath. So then there's a little part that goes on his chin. We're just going to... Yes, awesome. Okay, now let's do his body. So we're going to do two... We're going to do two lines that come out of his helmet, like that, and then one that comes out over here that's just like that one. And do that. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do his, we're going to, <laughs> we're going to do the side of his body right here. We're going to do a line that comes down, straight down. So just right kind of where his armpit would be. And then he's going to have his football tucked in right here. and But we're going to do the little line of his jersey his. shirt. Okay, all right. Now let's draw. We're going to draw his arm over here. So we're going to do a little contour line. And this is going to be for his sleeve. And then, so a little contour line. And then we're going to do a little line that comes back in. And this is going to be for his other armpit. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do a line that comes. So this, this arm arm line is coming in and then that we're going to have another line that comes down and that's for the other side of his shirt. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Now let's do, let's do, let's do this arm. Let's finish this arm. <laughs> let's do I know. Let's do, let's do. Okay. We're going to do an arm, an L shape, kind of upside down L that comes down. Good. And then we're going to do his other arm, the other, other arm. the other line on his arm that what? comes what? down to make his other arm. Is, we're going to make it look like he's running. And then we're going to do a big circle that comes around that. Good job. We're running out of room. <laughs> and then we'll put another line right there for his hand. Good. That's going to be a big arm. I like it. Okay. An Enderman arm. Yeah, Enderman arm. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do a curved line that comes down from his shirt. <laughs> I know what this is going to be. This is Don't his. Say yeah. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> okay, then we're going to do a uh, line that comes across all the way over here. And this is going to be for his leg. And this is going to be his knee. So then we're going to draw a line that comes down. And this is going to be for his leg coming down. Then we're going to do his foot in just a sec. So we're going to come back here and we're going to draw this leg, that this uh, line that comes up, and up to his knee. And then we're going to draw a line that comes down for his the rest of his leg. Oh, and then we'll put a, oh, it's really <laughs> thin ankle. And then we're going to do a little contour line right here for his foot or where his shoe's going to start. And we're going to do another line that comes up the shoe. And then we're going to do a line that comes down on this side. Good. I'm going to curl this just a little bit. And then we're going to do a big curved line to that. Oh. So from the front. It's curvy. Yeah. Curvy foot. We're going to see on this foot, you're going to be able to see the bottom of oh. a shoe. So there's the bottom of his shoe. Is that cool how we did that? Yeah. And then we're going to put, we can put another line right above that for the sole of his shoe. And then we can do little spikes. Cleats. Cleats. On the bottom of his shoe. And so I'm doing a U shape and then cross it and go across the top. And then I'm going to do some more right on the edge like that. That's awesome. That is a cool shoe. All right, now let's do the shoelaces. So I'm going to do two contour lines close to each other right there. Yeah, and then you can connect them. And then do two more contour lines right here and then connect the bottom of that. Yes, good job. Okay, now let's do the bottom of his football pants. They only go to his knee and then this is socks. Okay, and then we're going to do two more contour lines for his socks. Cool. 
And then we're gonna do a line that starts over here. This is gonna be the side, kind of a stripe that comes down his leg. And we'll stop there. So do a little, this is gonna be the side of his pants. And then we can do a little zigzag line into his sock. Yes, good job. Okay, now a football player has pads inside their pants and we're gonna do three lines, contour lines, right there on the top of his leg and that'll kind of represent the pad that's on his, in, his, uh, in his pants. All right, ready for the next leg? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna draw a line that comes over here. So it starts over here, comes down, and this is gonna be his leg that's coming back like he's running. Okay, and then we're gonna come up here. And we're gonna have to probably overlap a little bit on his arm. So you might wanna bring that line just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna come back a little more too. And then we're gonna do his other leg right here. We're gonna start here and then come back. And you want these two lines to be about as close as these two lines over here. Good job. Okay, now let's do a contour line on between those. I think Good. you used to play football. Yeah, I did. In high school, I played football. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to do a line here, and that's for the back of his shoe. Good. And then we'll do a big curved line like we did for this shoe. Okay, so we've done so we've done this line and we've done this line. We did a contour line there and we did his heel and then we did a big curve line right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's connect. We're gonna connect the heel to the front of the shoe, kind of like we did here, but we're gonna curve it the other way. So I'm gonna pretend and imagine that the line goes behind the hand, behind his hand and then comes up to the front. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do another line right next to it so that it looks like this one. Good. And then we're gonna do the cleats. So you can just do those U shapes. Got it? Oh, those are really spiky. Okay, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do the shoelaces. So two contour lines, kind of like we did over here, and then connect them. And then two more contour lines, and then connect them. Cool. Okay, now let's do his the his pants. Do that little line right there, and then do the two contour lines for his socks, like this one. And then we can do the three lines like we did right here. So we do one, two, three. Awesome. We got his legs in. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Let's put a let's put a uh, wristband on him. There we go. And then we can finish this shirt. Let's put a little line right here so it looks like the shirt goes behind. And yes, good job. Okay, should we finish the football over here? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna do a football coming out from his arm. So we're gonna do a big curved line that goes into his armpit. <laughs> yep, we're gonna make this football really big. <laughs> kind of, kind of like a cartoon, cartoon football player. And then we're gonna make the football come down. Ooh, and I kind of made mine a weird shape, but that's all right. I'll draw that again a little bit. Okay. It's like the size of its head. I know. Like a... <laughs> that's, that's a it. big football. Oh. All right. Okay, and then we can connect his shoulder into the football. Good, and then let's do the, remember when we drew the football? We did a contour line right here for a stripe. There's a little stripe on the football. So two contour lines. You got it? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna do a contour line this other direction. We've said contour line a lot, and we've talked about it before, but some of our art friends might not know. A contour line just means that you draw the line so it looks like the shape is 3D. So we drew it round to make the football look like it's round. Is mm -hmm. that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we can do a couple little U's right here for to make it look like he's got he's hanging on to it with his hands, fingers. Awesome! Okay, let's do let's do a couple more things. Let's do a circle. I forgot about this circle. 
And the side of their helmet, or it's a oval, huh? Yeah. Circle if you were looking at it sideways, but it's foreshortened, so it looks like a circle. And draw another curved line in there, so it looks like it goes in. Cool. What's he missing? Um. Some numbers? Yeah. All right, let's put a number on there. You know what, what number are you going to put on? But do you know what number you are? I think I was 43 when I was in high school. Okay, I'm not. 43. Are you gonna do a 43? <laughs> I think that's what I was. I'm gonna do a 10. I'm gonna do a one, and then I'm gonna do a big zero. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, and then put a little triangle inside. Perfect, dude. You did it. And then a three. Yeah, look at that man, you drew a sweet looking football player. Nice, nice. That's Wait, awesome. <laughs> Did you have fun drawing your football player? Yeah! Yeah, we hope you guys had fun drawing your football player. And we'll see you later, art friends. Bye, art friends. Goodbye. Hike! Look at